name is Hingwan Li. For your convenience, you can call me Li. Today, I'm kind of excited because I find my life purpose. And if you guys listen to my podcast or YouTube videos, you know, in 2018, I lost my job, and that became my new journey. And I start learning online business in March 2019, and then that's the first one is a partner with Anthony. And in June 2019, I joined One Funnel Away Challenge, and the that One Funnel Away Challenge changed my belief from making money online only to serving and helping people. But to be honest with you, I being following along. But I'm doing the thing. But I keep saying my long-term goal is to, you know, show the world my husband and my daughter's artwork. But just whatever I do, I I feel like you know that's what am I, you know, doing the job because when I'm working, you know, with their artwork, I was so calm and enjoy. But I didn't know it's my life purpose until I should say maybe two days ago. When I'm listening to Miss Bob Proctor's "How to Find Your Life Purpose," let me show you what I wrote here. Because when I'm listening, if guys you know with this face, you know English not my first language. So <laughs> I try to, and most time I have to read, it, otherwise I never remember. And then when they speak so fast, I'm kind of taking the screenshot. See, he said something like,、uh, "When you talking about your." Purpose. It's not you determine. You have to find it, kind of discover it. So this is like hook me. I said, "Wow, what my purpose?" Basically, he said, "Your purpose is like why you get up in the morning. So why you put on this, you know, planet? So that's a big thing." And I've been thinking, twenty-seven years ago. When I met Da Xue, you know, through the matchmaker, it's another story, right? <laughs> and the first time he showed me his painting picture, I made like the worst comment. I didn't know, but after we get married, he said. But anyways, when he showed me the picture, I just said, "Let me see if I can find the painting picture. Show you guys here." By the way, this this home page actually. It's not, even though I said I designed web that's his website, but this homepage is in 2019. My daughter did for him, so he love it. So I just keep this, but the all detail thing I did. Let me show you which one is the first painting he showed. This one. That's like a in 1989. That's right because of this painting he kept not getting known in in the art world. Anyways, but when he showed me that, I just for some reason I just feel like oh, this guy's name must be in the art history. And anyway, so we came to New York in 1996, and of course, you know, as artist, he took me to the Metropolitan Museum or the you know Soho galleries. And he, besides all the you know old master stories, he told me about you know the Chinese artist, some kind of story. And the one they hook me like he said a lot of people when they you know when they didn't have enough money so they sell the painting kind of you know not expensive. When they really getting known, they have their own like one person show or the museum or gallery whatever you call. They have to either rebuy back those paintings or they have to rent. So I just said something like I said as long as I'm alive. I would not let this happen to him. To be honest, I don't know if he still remember. But anyways, that's I think kind of my prom promise to him. So anyway, make a long story so short. I just you know after that you know like、uh, in 1999 you know we had the, our daughter. So my focus basically back to you know my daughter because I feel like、uh, you know. She's my main focus because you know we you know as Asian we always try to give the kids education right so I'm working and always some kind of excuse. But 2005, I did the first time I re you know kind of like self taught myself or borrow the book from library to do design the Dashes web. 
But after that, like I said, I'm like self-taught. After I, I finished, I didn't remember what I did. So I hated when he asked me to update it. Anyway, I always find some kind of excuse. But I was lucky, you know, my daughter later on, like when 2019, no, 2018, when I lost my job, I said, okay, now I need to focus on your daddy's work. My daughter said, oh, mommy, the first thing you need to re-update it, my daddy's website, because now it's 2018. So what she said, you know, makes sense. But anyway, like uh, for me, like I, I feel like uh, now I know I'm really open-minded. Whoever tell me, as long as it makes sense, I listen. So, and then she, my daughter suggests for the weeks. That's why I started. But anyways, I'm just keeping doing those because I was joking. No more excuse because before I would say, oh, I have a job. And then my daughter need to go to college. But now 2017, my daughter went to college. And then 2018, I lost my job. So no more excuse, right? So basically, I'm start working on Dutchess Web and always hoping like, oh, I put a store here. So when people buy the prints, I can just make a living. So that way I can just work at home, right? But anyways, it didn't happen that way. So I feel like, no, people do make money online. So I need a new skill. So I start getting online to learn those online business. I'm just keep running, you know, like everybody else, getting all the shiny, you know, shiny object syndromes because you go, you're from like from like a partner with Anthony, I go to the one funnel away challenge, or go to the, you, you know, cup of what you call it's like a programs. But like I said, we need to know. So listen to me. Whatever you learn, it's okay we made mistakes. But like I said, we didn't know. So we just came kind of like everything attract you. But like for me, I didn't realize until maybe I should say two days ago after I'm like learning and I realized I supposed to just helping the artist. Because 27 years with Star Shui, I do know the artists traveling different countries in order to see those older, you know, masters, masterpiece. It's, and you don't understand the language. I remember in 2013, I want to see, you know, the three Renaissance giants painting. I have to Google the painting. So which painting is in which city? That's why we went to that city just for that painting. And then I remember one of the time we went to the place, we supposed to see the dealers, some drawing right it's not even the original we have to deposit our you know passport there and in my head i just feel like wow so now it's it's not that easy you have the traveling you don't understand the language sometimes people you know like you can get robbed with people and i also remember uh, there's a michelangelo's show in metropolitan it took the lady eight years to do that expedition. So in my head, I feel like, you know, I have a dash right now. I even have Margaret all the works. I should build everything in the one place. So this is for long term for those uh, artists or art lovers, whatever you call it, like those people who treat art as uh, their spirit food, they can just go to one place to see everything, right? Anyway, so, from now on, like I said, I know my purpose, but at the same time, I'm like so grateful because, you know, on the way I'm learning and kind of getting into those, like we live in this, you know, like kind of our spirit, our mindset thing. So I, at the same time, I share my moment with you. And that way, just, you know, Thinking about that's why I keep saying spend time with yourself. Whatever you choose to do, as long as you know it's a good for you, for you know what do what you love, or love what you do. Just don't be dis discouraged uh, because maybe you don't see the result right away. Think about now if I'm for long term now, like I make you guys disappointed. Think about. After 27 years later, I realized, oh, that's my purpose. I'm supposed to serve the artist, right? So for you, but at least now you know, you want to find something you really, really want. Like basically they said, you can treat your life for that. And then you focus on, 
Also, like I said, no matter what you do, your mindset like need to decide it. Also, like I said, you have to be do the right thing. That's the only way I feel like it, because I keep saying I'm lucky, but at the same time I feel like I always do the right thing. And also, you don't want anybody else disrespect you. Like to be honest, um, you know, I'm Chinese in nineteen ninety six. After I come here, I'm work like from the third day I'm start working. So I was lucky. I working in Manhattan over about twenty years. I do see the people from all over the world. Some people they don't really respect you for some reason, you know. But now I understand because our mindset, like about Miss Bob Proctor said, is our paradigm. So whatever they happen in their life, they treat everybody different. But like I said, you don't want anybody else push you around. You can be nice, but not weak. And also now on, don't complain about outside world. Talk to yourself, because each of us has a powerful talent inside. So you need to find the true. You. It doesn't matter who tell you, you know, this it can be happen or whatever. Trust your intuition. You know, if you want to healthy, you don't want to go to the sick doctor. So don't ask your neighbors or even your relatives if they don't know. Don't ask them. Anybody want give you opinion, but you are the one make decision. Like I said, this our mind. Super powerful, like I said. If I didn't learn, if without this one over years online learning, I didn't know. I'm just like thinking about I'm running around, working this way, right? But there, it's our paradigm controlling us. So you have to spend time with yourself. You have so much power inside. Like for me, to be honest, now I know my purpose. I'm still working every day, but you know, with with the stress work. But at the same time, like I said, be a nice human. So I share my experience with you, and let you know. Don't let outside control you. You are your life director, producer. You are your self master. So, but anyways, now I find my purpose. Like I told you guys, at the same time, I will sharing my message with you. But before, like I said, I don't know. I'm just talking, whatever that moment, right? But now I kind of have feeling. No matter what you do for the long term, you need working with a human, right? I even I think I have a couple of postcard to mention something. You know, talk to yourself, whatever. But now I feel like I need. Concentrate for personal development. This is, of course, in, inspired by Bob Proctor. You see, when I wrote this, this series, I was joking in my head. I feel, wow! Remember, we're talking about the、uh, paradigm. Maybe because that's why everything with you look all those kind of series. I even wrote it down as a series. So thinking about this mind, whatever you keep repeating, do it. You kind of getting that paradigm. But anyway, the good ones you keep them, but the bad ones you need to change. So you find the best of you, and at the same time, like I said, I share my message with you, and then don't let outside words control you. Don't blame others anymore. Remember, we keep saying when you point the finger, one point out, three point you. So that reminds you, talk to yourself, spend time with yourself, find the best of you. Because you are powerful, you can do whatever you want. That's why we said you become what you think about. If this is what they said, we become what we think about, right? That's why I'm talking to you. You find yourself powerful yourself, and you will have the life you want. Anyways, if you like my message, share, and I'm like I said, now I'm start focus on this personal development. You know, talking about the why we do what we do, or you know. I will share my 
experience and I'll try to show off, just tell you because I feel like I always do the right things. That's why I feel I'm lucky, you know, from like a, when my husband and me, we came here, we have no relatives, no friends, whatever, 20 something years later, you know, I still have this happiness around me it's because I appreciate, I grateful for everything. So basically thinking about positive things, that's why you attract all the positive good stuff. Okay. Anyways, uh, talk to yourself, find the best yourself from you. Don't go outside anymore. But anyway, so share my message if you like it and I'm continue. I try to write it down so I can, you know, basically start start now on a focus not like before like i said i didn't know what i'm talking about just even on anchor i'm like cheating on the wednesdays i sing a song just like because i didn't know what i'm talking about but anyway it's okay that's you know we don't know only when we go learning 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 and and someday you will discover it so talk to you guys soon just talk to yourself find the best one inside you okay